your friends of uh, Sustainable Montessori, how are you all doing? Uh, remember to check our materials in our Teachers Pay Teacher store. And today we are here with the bead frame that is, um, well, very special material actually. That um, it reminds like the abacus that was used by the Chinese, the ancient Chinese people. And uh, it's kind of like a different material because this is all you need actually to work with it. So it doesn't have like the other ones that you have the different materials that you need to use. And also I found that this is a material that for some students is a very important step on their process into abstraction for addition, subtraction, and even multiplication. However, you'll see some how all the students may struggle using it. So that's why it's important to observe the, the, the process of our students and with observation to determine if it's a good material and is helping the student or not. Remember that not all students have to go over all materials and all, not all students should go to over every step of every material. So today we have the bit frame, I was saying, and we have here on the side, we have on the white, we have is telling that is the simple family, and these are the units, the tens and the hundreds, and uh, here in gray we can see the units of thousands, that's the started on the family of the thousands. So this is the small bit frame, and um, there are two ways that you can present it. Mm, I'm going to present it backwards from the back. That is the way that I usually do it. But some um, teachers, they find it easier putting sideways. So that way, maybe they get more comfortable with the material. So here we have our problem, that is addition. We're going to do 2,456 uh, plus 1,785. So we're going to start first with the units, like always. So we count six units two, four, six units, and we prepare the first addend, then we have five tens, we go in the same that we read book, this is kind of like the same as reading from left to right for the student, and that's why I say that it may be difficult, because for in our case it's kind of like the opposite, then we have four hundreds, and finally two thousand, so we can see here the number two thousand 456. You may see some students that they want to read the number from top to bottom. And that's another thing that can make them difficult. So now we're going to add five units. So we do one, two, three, four units. And we don't have more, so we have to do an exchange. I have ten units. So I'm going to exchange for one ten. And remember, we only added four. We only had four. And this is the fifth one. So we added the unit. Then we need to five and sorry eight tens. So we're gonna start one, two, three, four tens. Again we exchange for a hundred the tens. And then it's five, six, seven, eight tens. Finally we need to add next sorry seven hundreds and we'll add one, two, three, four. 500, again we exchange the 10 hundreds for 1,000, and now it's 6, 7 hundred, and finally we add 1,000. So the answer to our problem, you can write it down, would be one unit, four tens, Two hundreds, and finally four thousand. So if we add two thousand four hundred fifty six plus one thousand seven hundred eighty five, the answer would be four thousand two hundred forty one. In previous in next lessons, we know that the bead frame has a special paper that you may want to introduce, not in the first lesson, in the next lesson, how they can write their answer using the bit frame paper. Again, uh, thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoy it. You can leave our comments, and uh, don't forget to check our materials in our Teachers Pay Teacher stores, and see you in the next video.